Hi folks, Martin here again. Now, I've had so many requests for more t-shirt videos. Um, I obviously have run a t-shirt business, as you probably know. And a lot of people wanted to start and get into this business. And what they're tending to do is to look online, go to forums, try and pick the brains of so-called experts, and then go to eBay and buy the cheapest gear they got. And nine times out of 10, they're buying the job lock gear. The gear you buy a, a multi heat plate with a mug press in it as well and a cap press in it as well. Now these items are designed to basically earn the company money. They're, they're buying cheap equipment in from the Far East. It's not very good quality and the end result is, is that the user normally ends up giving up because they can't produce goods that are professional enough to actually sell on the open market. But there again, that doesn't mean to say that all your gear has to be expensive and top of the range equipment. On my training DVD I do mention the heat press that I actually use and the reasons for getting uh, a decent heat press because you don't get an even heat coverage across the whole plates of these cheaper copied ones because they've only got possibly one element in the centre instead of winding all the way through the whole heat plate to give constant heat. So equipment is essential. Now. You can't scrimp on a heat press. Your next most important piece of kit is going to be your cutter for cutting out your, either your vinyl or your transfer papers or whatever. Now initially, your, as I said, your first piece of kit is going to be your heat press because if you haven't got enough money for a, a cutter to cut the vinyls out or your transfers, initially if you're just doing images and using transfer paper, you can actually use a pair of scissors to cut around. Just to give yourself a, a, a little example of what your end result is going to be like. If you're going to be using transfer paper and also vinyl where you've got to cut intricate letters out and stuff like that, you really do need some sort of cutter. Now again, you can spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds on something like a Roland GX24, which is sort of a, a, a long professional cut. It's the industry standard cutter uh, for the vinyl cutting industry and stuff like that. Or you could go for something at the other end of the spectrum, which is what I've used for years and years, is a craft cutter. Now I've been using a, a craft robo uh, since 2006 when I started actually creating t-shirts. I've had the uh, Roland GX24 cutters, spent sort of a, a thousand pounds on them, and to be honest with you, I've never really used them because my predominant market is the transfer paper uh, market and using the combination of equipment and materials I use I get A1 class results and I've been selling them successfully since 2006 and at the time of this video being produced it's 2013 it's many many years so I've developed uh, the knowledge of what is the right gear to use and how to use it now as I said I've had GX24 cutters I've had two of them in total over the last six years and they just sat basically really unused. I used them a lot for the vinyl stuff uh, and my craft cutter which is an A4 craft cutter deals with just your, your basic t-shirts so technically speaking when I print on an A4 sheet of paper like this for my transfers it's I put the image in the landscape position and then that goes on the width of sort of your t-shirt I don't have it in portrait I have it in landscape so the image goes basically across the top of a t-shirt. Now some people want larger images, ones that go further down a t-shirt. Now I've never really done them before, as I said to you, I've just normally uh, used the A4, which to be honest with you, A4 is on average 12, cent 12 inches uh, wide and it's about 8 inches that way, so it's an 8 by 12 image. Now as I said, I've had the um, a GX24 which I predominantly just use for uh, vinyls but now I've started using more vinyls because I actually sold the two GX24s so really I want to cover a bit more down the length of the t-shirt and as a result of that I've actually gone out and brought a uh, a new craft cutter they don't make the craft robo anymore although you can still find them second hand on eBay they've actually uprated now to the Cameo Silhouette uh, it's a Graftec product, product and the Cameo Silhouette is an A3 cutter so basically you can cut a 12 by 12 image instead of a 12 by 8 like that it's basically like having another 
virtually another uh, page underneath that is an A3 size. But don't forget, with the, the with these craft cutters, even with the craft robo, you can buy what they call a long carrier sheet because you actually have to stick your transfer stick your transfer paper down onto a carrier sheet, and the craft robo takes it in and then cuts the image out, and then you peel off the um, transfer or vinyl, and all the image is cut out. But you can buy a longer carrier sheet. So technically speaking, when you put this into the craft robo that way, it's eight inches wide. You can have like a two foot long um, stencil if you're doing vinyl, not not with transfer paper, with vinyl. So, but if you want the deeper, like a twelve by twelve, and a twelve by twelve is sort of that width, the same width there, but obviously this is only eight inches deep. Another four inches down the, the garment. So you're dealing with sort of an image which carries itself down to there. If you want to do that, I've just bought a craft uh, a, ca a cameo silhouette, and I'm just gonna—I've never done an unboxing video before, so I thought I'd do one for you now. This is my new cameo silhouette, and let's go and unbox it. Right here we are. So as you can probably see there, it's the uh, cameo silhouette. Now I brought this off of eBay, off of a shop on eBay and I think I paid £265 for it but they give you a few additional tools as well so let's have a look what we got here again this is my first time of uh, having one of these and I got this purely to do a free transfer prints and also some um, more more vinyl coverage on t-shirts so what do you get here this is from the com company I actually brought it from off of eBay which is um, Digital Transfer Supplies and this is obviously their products uh, which I've, I've, I've obviously not used before they do all their garment films there as you can probably see different styles, I might have a look at them see how we go but that's the company Digital Transfer Supplies on eBay oh, I see here we go, here's the free gifts so I've got a that's what you call a pick me up tool that's for rhinestones, those of you who don't know what rhinestones are when you sometimes when you buy t-shirts they have these little like raised little jewels on them they're, they're rhinestones where you can actually cut the templates out for this on this machine as well so that's obviously some tool, tool for that the silhouette spatula again that's for lifting paper off cuts off of transfer paper I suppose I don't know the silhouette hook which again is just a weeding tool I would imagine and a little plastic scraper there it says it's a silhouette scraper so there you go we've got a 240 volt power lead as I'm in the UK that's that one there we've got a USB cable the actual um, what's that there have a look at that in a minute instructional video comes with it uh, and also the software I would imagine and the cutting blades in there so that's all there what is this card here? Ten dollars off download card. Whatever this. Open the silhouette software on your computer. Press purchase online button in the left menu. Oh, I see. Right. Okay. So that's obviously uh, just some sort of ten ten dollar discount card for purchasing it online. But I've already purchased it. So why would I want to do it again? Right. And then we've got the uh, mains transformer. There's a 110 volt lead in there as well, but as I say, mine's come supplied with a 240 volt as well, so I'm, I'm ready to go there. Let's take that cover off. Nothing else in there. Right, okay, that's how we come. Now there's your, they give you a 12 by 12 carrier sheet. Now this is the carrier sheet which you actually de put your, your transfer papers on, so they give you a 12 for 12 one but again you can buy a 12 inch one but a long long one if you want to do long like banners or longer even longer graphics so that is going to be the size of uh, the carrier sheet for this machine now let's see if we can get it out there we are put the box to one side that's how she comes packaged. Pull the end off, pull that in there. Pull that in there. Cover it up with some tape. 
pour in it. And around that. And there she is. Brand spanking new. Silhouette cameo from Graftech. Cut a bit of tape on the front there. Remove them. Now, as I said, this is an A3 cutter, as the one I've uh, normally been using for the last six years is an A4 cutter. Lid lifts up. Instructions there how to um, install the blade, which goes in here, obviously. And there's obviously some sort of packaging in there, so what I'll do is um, I'll obviously install this and put the blade in and get it all going and set up and all that. Then I'll have to install the software, but um, let's show you a bit closer. This is a brand new silhouette cameo. There we go. Power and pause button. Very nice. Now these little wheels here, they they adjust. I remember looking online and seeing these. I can't quite figure out how to do it at the moment, but you can pull them out and there's notches in this bar here. See them little notches? So if you're using uh, smaller media, you can load a smaller carrier sheet in there by all accounts. So, um, there we go. The blade goes on in there. It's very same. It's the same sort of fitting as the Craft uh, Robo, but the uh, blade has got more adjustments on it. I think on the Craft Robo you've got that it's coloured. It's red, blue, and yellow. I think uh, which denotes the uh, thickness of the um, the media you're going to be cutting, and that denotes sections one, two, and three on on the turning dial on the new blade but it's also got a few more settings as well up to five or maybe even six I'm not sure so it's got a lot more varied cutting range so there you go that's as simple as it is that's the cameo silhouette so don't forget I mean as I say I spent about as I said 300 uh, 265 pounds on this and I got some extras as you saw with it as, as well so do have a look around these are handy little tools actually I'll um possibly fine. I might even have a look at that, the rhinestone tools, I'm not too sure yet so but you know I've got the uh, facility now to use bigger and the beauty of these little tools as I said to you before the reason why I sold the GX24 is with the GX24 because um, of its optical eye which it's got on it after, there seems to be a lot of wastage with um, using the, the vinyl because it can only cut down to a certain limit, a level on off cuts but with this thing you can just stick any size off cut onto your carrier sheet down to sort of a couple of inches maybe and you can instruct the craft robo to actually cut just that little image out so we've got a box of off cuts which we normally keep when I, when I had the uh, Roland GX24 but we saved it and used to use them on our craft robo so we can obviously do little logos breast pocket logos and stuff like that so these are you don't need a big massive two foot tool if you're dealing with t-shirts this is an A3 cutter, and my one over there, which is still in situ, let me just try and zoom in over there, which that one there, that is the Craft Robo. That's the A4 version, the older version. We use that machine every single day, and we have done for, as I said, since 2006. So just because I want to start doing some uh, larger T-shirt designs now, that's why I've actually gone out and brought this cutter here as well. So you haven't got to spend thousands of pounds. Just know what stuff to buy by copying someone who's doing it successfully uh, I like to think that we're doing it successfully and those people who actually buy my DVD will obviously know that I go through the whole procedure of setting this business up as you can see over there that's where, that's where we run the little t-shirt business or Sharon does we work from home I've got different businesses which I run from my computer over there online and offline physical real businesses and also online businesses but that, there's, there's all the equipment there for a heat press uh, there's the heat press rather there's a small limited stock of uh, black and white t-shirts there in different sizes there's loads of vinyls over there as you can see sitting over there the transfer papers are kept in a drawer over there above the craft cutter uh, and, and the printer which we use for the craft business that's my own personal PC and right over the other end in the other corner there is a totally separate business again 
which is the printing on ceramic mugs with ink, uh, ink sublimation inks. And that is a totally separate business over there. So yeah, make the choice. If you treat it as a hobby, first of all, I get so many people say, "Oh, I, I want, I need to get like thousand pound a month to replace my income." Well, if you've got a thousand pounds sitting in the bank, or fifteen hundred pounds sitting in the bank, just earning 0.5 interest a year, then you might as well invest in, take it out, invest it in some some equipment like this, buy my training for the DVD, see how easy it is to get set up and start in this business, and treat it like a hobby. You might sell one or two or three a week. Uh, at the beginning, that's not going to keep you out, uh, keep you from giving up your employment, obviously. But the more people get to hear about you, and the more chances you've got of growing the business organically, rather than you running out trying to find new customers and putting yourself out organically, just advertise in the right places where the people go, which is at eBay. Sure, eBay and PayPal take their commission, but at the end of the day, if you give someone a pound or a dollar and they give you two dollars back, you'd give out pounds all day long, wouldn't you? So it's the same thing with this. You're selling products into a market, uh, into niche markets, and slowly but surely you will become established. We've been going now, as I said to you, since 2006. We're now in 2013. We're still doing it. We're still advertising in exactly the same places. We don't push ourselves out on anywhere. Sure that we've got a Facebook account and we know people locally and stuff like that, but we get a lot of clubs around uh, where we live, for example, uh, whether it be uh, hobbyist clubs or uh, clubs that have a, a, an annual meet and they want uh, merchandise for their events or whatever. So you only get in these sort of avenues if you're in the market. So you've got to be in the market first. So it's a nice little home business. It's easy to run. It's easy to learn. So give it a go. Even now, you don't need big flashy uh, con uh, tools like the um, GX24 you need a decent heat press that's what I will say to you don't scrimp on that piece of equipment that's going to cost you a uh, thousand pounds plus you want to buy one off eBay for two to three hundred pounds imported from the Far East you're gonna have troubles doing t-shirts anyway hope you enjoyed this little unboxing video of my cameo silhouette and we'll see you again in the next video thank you Oh, oh, oh.